Hey 40 plusers, Deborah here. Today we are doing BoxyCharm unboxing. Yay! This is November 2015's box. Alright. Here is the card. And off the top I see a LVX, which is a nail polish brand that I've received in a some subscription box. It was an okay polish. And 25% off, go to shoplvx.com, and the code is BOXYLVX, if you so desire. All right. Five items in this box. First off, Cool Way Leave-In Treatment. Cool Way brand. I like it. This is the third product. Maybe the second I received. This one's got... This one's got some gook on it. So the cap came loose at some point. Let's clean that off because that's gooky. I don't like gook. Gook. Okay. Oh, it is a mess. Alright, so we'll hold that up. We'll clean this. Smells d divine as a leave in. Citrusy. I'm not sure. Maybe lime or grapefruit. Hmm. So this has hemp seed oil in it, like the hemp's brand. Silk amino acids. Lots of other stuff. I'm not going to add anything to this hair, but it smells great. Spray generously. It says spray, but this is a. It globs out. It's not a spray. Okay, what does it say about it? So, Cool Way Leave-In Treatment, a full size, that says this is full size, 20 bucks. I don't know. Hydrate and shine, no split ends, boost moisture. Okay. Next, well protected, is Studio Makeup Brand Soft Blend Blush in Sahara. Long wearing, natural look, studio-makeup.com. Here's the packaging. So this says Sahara, and the package says Wildflower. So I'm going to go with what the package says. And this doesn't look like a Sahara color. It looks like a wildflower color. This is matte. It is a matte blush. The packaging is solid, plastic. The hinge is substantial. It's not going to break real easy. No mirror, obviously, because you can see through to the product. It is firmly packed. There's the color on the finger. That's very concentrated looking. Okay, that's a very pigmented blush. Very firmly packed, though. That's nice. I mean, it's totally wearable. You might have a diff 
difficult time getting it onto your brush, but once you do, it is very pigmented. Okay, so that blush is a full size <clears throat> and uh, $17. Next up, Mana Kadar. I really appreciate this woman, her brand, her work in the industry. Um, this packaging, I haven't seen this particular packaging from her. This is a slightly rubberized finished packaging, uh, substantial thickness. It is pink with tan and black accents. And this is a priming lip gloss stain. I like stains because <coughs> After the second cup of coffee, I don't like to reapply. So, I like stains. I appreciate them. And it says it has berry extracts, vitamins A and E, and it is long-lasting. The shade is all the time. Can you see that? And here's the shade. At is not that bright, at least in my uh, in my viewfinder. It looks very bright, orchidy. It is less so. Let's see if we can get a swatch. No scent. Yay! I I appreciate non-scented lip products. Packaging is nice, it's substantial, uh, regular doe foot. And drop proof, because it's square. Easy to apply. Everyday color, yeah, okay. I'm digging that priming gloss stain vitamins A, E, and berry extracts. Doesn't have berry scent or taste. It doesn't look like it's bleeding into my fine lines that are starting to show up around my lips. That's because I walk around now with pinchy face. As uh, some people at work have told me. Yeah, they're, they're that nice. Okay, that is a winner. I am excited by that. Beeswax. Lots of stuff in it. Okay. And this retails for $24. <clears throat> that seems high to me. But if the stain lasts all day and all night, I, I would reassess that price point. Product feels very good on the lips, moisturizing, unctuous, it's not running everywhere, it's not transferring, it's not on my teeth. And I like the packaging. Next, Perlise, huge brand, very aware of the brand. I've sampled a lot of products and purchased one. Um, it's up there in price. This is a pricey item. Okay, so this is in the Prevent line. Four-in-one eye serum. Serum. Hydrate, firm, brighten, and anti-puff. So this has French Marine products, Matrixel 3000, 
anti-aging products, etc. So, Blue Lotus, apparently, which this is named after, is an anti-inflammatory and free radical fighter. Matrixol 3000 is a peptide that's in higher end products that I've found. And then Haloxyl, which I don't know what that is, decreases dark circles and puffiness and tones. Paraben free, mineral oil free, phthalate free, synthetic color and fragrance free, and animal cruelty free. Made in the USA. 100% wind power. That's interesting. Okay. First ingredients. Cyclopentoxylene. Then water. Silicones. Glycerin. squalene if it says cruelty free that probably means it's a olive oil based or plant based squalene and I've had good luck with the product eye, eye creams that have that in them actually seen them work <coughs> triglycerides Some extracts, olive oil peptides, tripeptides, other peptides, dipeptides, more extracts, wheat protein or wheat germ oil, rice bran oil, hyaluronate, sodium hyaluronate, good stuff. <clears throat> okay this this full sized retail $65 there you go it's got a pump dispenser that's nice I believe this is simply an under eye cream. It doesn't seem like it's a 360 cream like some of them. So I think this is an under eye cream. I don't I'll have to look online to see if it's a 360 or not. Fragrance is non-existent. Did it say fragrance? Yeah, no fragrance. Now it says no synthetic fragrance. So, so maybe it's supposed to have some kind of fragrance from the extracts. But it's nothing that I can pick out. <clears throat> now I do have on hand cream. So maybe that's masking it, but we'll, we'll see. I am all over this. I'm all about the eye cream life. So, yay for that. That is awesome. All right. And the last thing buried in the crinkle worms. Crinkle worms. Black ones. Black ones make me sad. Okay. We have from the brand Luxie. <clears throat> Luxie is the brand we've been seeing a lot of subscription boxes it is a pink handle with a pinky copper ferrule this is a how do they define this rose gold concealer eye brush number 211 
So this is a pointed, tapered, flat eye brush. It could be used for concealer. I would use it as an eye brush. I already use one very similarly um, from Julep. I mean, they're pretty much exactly the same. Do they overlay each other perfectly? Okay, so the Julep one is more pointed. This one has a slight, maybe it's from being in the package. It's The point is softer. But it still comes to a distinct point. And it can pick up product down, up the side as well as on the edges because it the, the bristles are staged or phased up more than the julep brush. The julep brush only has a little bit of tapering. So this is the Luxie 211 Eye Shadow slash concealer brush. I'll use the chisel out of this. So I'm excited by this. This retails for $12. I think that's spot on. And I have, do I have more than one? I have another Luxie brush. This is the Tapered Blending 205 to give you a comparison. So yay for that. That is awesome. Okay. So let's see what the full retail value of this is. Um, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, Three, one twenty eight ninety five. I think there's the card at the back if you want to zoom in. All right, be happy, be healthy, learn something new every day. This is Deborah with Boxy Charm November unboxing, and this Perlise eye cream is the shizzle. Ciao for now.